Hello, are you guys ready to work out? Well, you know the drill. We always warm up first and we start with walking in place. Um, I think I have everything ready. So today's Wednesday. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Grandma Gaines and morning videos are all about working out and I feel like we're crooked. Oh well, we're just gonna leave it right here. Um, so yes, I'm not a professional. I am a reselling grandma and I will leave links in the description box below if you're interested. Okay, so warming up. Four basic steps. Walking in place, knee lifts, kicks, and side steps. Not necessarily in that order. Um, three important tips. And because I'm not a professional, these tips have been given to me by you guys. So tip number one, core tight all the time. Tip number two, never hold your breath. Tip number three, release the tension in your shoulders. And I like to take it a step farther. Unclench your fists and uncurl your toes. Let's do some side steps. Not too wide and not too fast. We like to gradually increase our heart rate and have our muscles nice and warm before we start our workout. Now today is a 5-1 run walk interval, five rounds. So we will not be working out. We will be just we'll just be doing a nice long warm up, run, then we will cool down and we will stretch last. Back to walking in place. Every time we go back to walking in place, we always pump our arms back and forth, never up and down. Let's do some knee lifts. Core tight, good posture, keeping our elbows close to your sides. You don't need them hanging out where they're not supposed to be. And back to walking. And the last move in our warm up are kicks. Nice and low, not too fast. And remember to kick like you're kicking a ball. Otherwise, you are just doing a leg lift. And I would rather you do a kick this time, anyways. And back to walking. Those are our basic moves. Forward and back two. Like I said, we want a nice long warm up for when we do start running, we don't want our muscles to cramp up, get super tight, or anything like that. Stay right here. Picking those feet up, pumping those arms back and forth. Core tight. Side steps. Now make these moves your own. <clears throat> Stepping out farther, a little faster, but remember, never lock your knees or your elbows if you use arms. Deep breath in and out. And back to walking in place. Kicks again. Now, if you raise your kicks just a little bit higher, you feel that stretch in the back of your legs. 
<clears throat> and if you add arms, opposite hand, opposite foot, you feel that pull in the back of your legs. Anytime you add arms, you intensify your exercise. And back to walking. Deep breath in and out. Concentrate on the breathing. Never holding your breath. We're going into knee lifts. No, I wasn't quite ready. <laughs> opposite hand, opposite knee. Core tight. <clears throat> and again, never hold your breath. Good posture. So um, don't slouch, don't lean back, stand up nice and tall, and back to walking, forward and back. So, just like any sporting or physical activity, stay right here. Before you start, you should already be hydrated. Let's do a chest press. Push, pull, push, pull. So yes, you should already be hydrated. Maybe even a little sweaty, nice and warm like we are before we start our exercise, which is the running. Concentrate on your breathing. Release the tension in your shoulders. And already be hydrated. Release those arms. Make sure you have extra water with you. And a towel. Because we're going to need it. Side steps. Need my glasses. Whew. Concentrate on your breathing. Feeling pretty good right now? Are you ready to start that run? <coughs> Walking in place. Okay, concentrate on your breathing. Now, before we start, let me tell you. The very first round, we always start off too fast. So make sure you tell yourself, purposely, slow your pace. Now, when I hit start, we're gonna have like four seconds. Oh, I gotta get the volume ready too. So keep walking in place, good posture, don't hold your breath. Get ready. Here we go. Nice slow pace to begin with. The first round is always the hardest and the worst to get through. It's really the worst. So make sure you're going nice and slow. Unclench your fists. Make sure you're not running on your tippy toes. That is super important. You don't want your, you don't want your legs to Tighten up, cramp up. So all the rules apply. Core tight. Never hold your breath. And release the tension in your body. Eyes straight ahead. 
and enjoy your run. Think of nothing, nothing. Let muscle memory take over and enjoy yourself. Let your mind wander. Um, I'll let you know when we have one minute left in our running intervals. But again, I'm not a professional. I forget. My mind wanders too. And then I'm like, oh crap. So. <laughs> Just letting you know ahead of time. Nice loose fists, pumping your arms back and forth. Release the tension in your shoulders. The only thing tight is your core. The first round is the worst. We got this though. We've been doing this for weeks. A piece of cake. Maybe we shouldn't talk about cake. Maybe we should, if that's the only thing that gets us through it, right? No. Nice loose fists. Keep picking those feet up. We have one minute. And then we get to walk for a whole minute. Yay. And down to a walk. Whew. Concentrate on your breathing. Whew. So you guys, I don't know if I've mentioned ever that, uh, do you follow me over on social media, Facebook? We have a group over there. The link will be, will be in the description box below. But you guys, we have auctions over there. Um, a lottery drawings. Um, yeah. So if you're not following me over there, um, check it out. Yeah. We have a lot of fun. Phew. 10 seconds. Whew. 
So it's not just YouTube we're having the, all the fun on. Oh, here we go. Like I said, I am a reseller. So that is mainly what I do. But for fun, you have to spice it up and add new things in. So yeah, check it out. And not only that, we're always, always adding new items in our inventory Whew, on all of the selling platforms, um, which I think I mentioned, the links will be in the description box below. As well as an email, if you have any tips or advice, because like I said, I'm not a professional. Um, I do this for fun. So if you see I should be doing something a little different, please let me know. Please, please, please let me know. Eyes straight ahead, concentrate on your breathing. <clears throat> Again, making sure you are not running on your tippy toes. <sighs> you are following through your whole foot. And because we are stationary, <sighs> you're planting your feet directly below your hips as well. <sighs> sweating. One minute, you guys, we get to walk. Whew. 
and walking. Oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> Whew, sweating already. <sighs> One minute of walking. Whew. Whew, keep picking those feet up. seconds you guys oh here we go so I don't know if I've mentioned it already but I will leave all the numbers from today's workout in the description box below I try to remember to do to do that every time. Whew. But just to remind you, whew, we're all going to have different numbers. As we're all different shapes, sizes, and fitness levels. Whew. But as we get stronger and healthier, our numbers get stronger and healthier. <laughs> oh goodness gracious so I spent the whole morning oh, working on Poshmark as I do every morning but I listed some new stuff today like six new items on all of the selling platforms Whew. So yeah, check them out. Uh, you can like, I always talk about Poshmark because I'm, because I'm sure YouTube just made that all foreign. <laughs> Sorry, that happens when I get out of breath. Okay, so I am a tier two ambassador for Poshmark. Phew, so oh, it's my favorite site. Oh, and um, like I said, you only get out of something as much as you put into it. And I work on all my selling platforms all morning long. By lunchtime, I'm done with that. We have already worked out on our first break. Lunchtime. And then I start uploading videos. Or doing DIYs because I love to decorate I might be a reseller and working from home but I still want to decorate and save money I mean I am grandma gains it's all about the gains whether it be fitness wise finance wise or family it's so all always invite all of you guys to join my family. Subscribe to the channel and become part of the family. So that's why I'm Grandma Gaines. Show you how you can earn money reselling. We all have those unexpected bills that pop up. It's nice to be able to cover some of it. <sighs> what do you see out there, girl? So this morning, I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys about the uh, neighborhood stray cat. Somebody dropped a bunch of them off. Well, it's twice now I've seen it. And this morning, Lagertha saw, um, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, walking through the grapes. So it has survived the crazy snowstorms we had. Of course, there are a lot of outbuildings <coughs> that it can live in. 
Whew, oh my gosh, you guys, down to one minute. And I don't know, I, rewind. I don't know how large a territory um, a cat has. So, maybe it's large. They have a lot of, a large area prowl. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is cray cray. And walking. Whew. Whew. Oh my gosh. Whew, I'm like walking, I'm doing side steps. Hey, you can't do this wrong. Just don't stop. <laughs> so again, if you cannot tell, I'm not a professional. I just love food. Food, food. <laughs> Anyways, I know you're tired, but keep picking those feet up. Whew, we are more than halfway through this um, running portion of our workout. We have less than 10 seconds. Seven. And here we go. Whew. So if you've gotten this far, you can make it to the end. If you have to slow your pace, that's fine. We are not trying to win a race. We're just trying to get through the five minutes. Now, whether you have to, like I said, slow your pace or walk, that's fine. Maybe you're walking for five minutes and running for one minute. That is fine as well. You cannot do these wrong. Well, yeah, I guess the only way you can do them wrong is just to quit and give up and sit down. But I know you're not gonna do that. <laughs> You're like, I will persevere. Yes, we will. Chief Dan George. <laughs> cool points, you guys, if you know what movie that came from. Oh, <sighs> Yeah, the more oxygen I get to the, my brain, the more I probably am showing my age with these movies. <sighs> Wowzer. Already showing my age. You guys know I'm grandma of eight. Maybe someday there will be more. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <sighs> so concentrate on your breathing. You guys, core tight. Release the tension in your shoulders. <sighs> and keep picking those feet up. <sighs> Truthfully, just pump those arms back and forth and your feet automatically follow. It's like a machine. I don't know how it happens, but it does. So if your hands go faster, your feet go faster. Just do not tense your shoulders. <sighs> Unclench your fists. <sighs> nice, loose fists. <sighs> Save that energy for the end. Ay, ay, ay. Sweating in my ears. 
I said, ear. Oh my gosh. My gosh, you guys. Oh, so we're under a minute. We have 35 seconds. I knew that was gonna happen. And I was paying attention, or so I thought. walking in place. You guys grab that water whenever you need it. Whew. Whew. Keep picking those feet up. I know you're tired. You're sweaty. You just want to be done and get your shower. Trust me, we're almost done. We got this. Guess what? Did I already say it's bowling tonight? I'm so super excited. <laughs> I can't help myself. I love it. <sighs> Am I all that great? Am I good? Heck no. But it's all about having fun, right? Exactly. Having fun and hanging out with friends. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Eating some good food and hopefully throwing a nice bowling ball. <laughs> Do you ever get a tickle on the bottom of your foot and you can't get rid of it? It drives you nuts. It's like way deep inside. Yeah, that's what happened to me if I look kind of funny there. Well, any nor you know, anything out of the ordinary is because I had a tickle on my foot. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Core tight. Release all the stress in your body. Tension in your body. Stress too. This is a no stress zone. <laughs> Not only is this a safe zone, 
This is a no stress zone. <laughs> I'm drenched. My lips are dry. I don't have my chapstick on me. You're like, yeah, we know we can. Uh, we don't hear it. Keep going, you guys. You're doing great. Oh. And if you don't hear it often enough, let me tell you right now, I am proud of you. You guys are amazing. Amazing. And one minute. <clears throat> straight ahead core tight concentrate on your breathing last 30 seconds pick it up a little bit unclench your shoulders I mean <laughs> release relax you know what I mean just pick those feet up 10 seconds, a little faster. And walking. You guys, that was round five. That was the last one. Deep breath in and out. Don't hold your breath. Ay, ay, ay. Keep walking. Oh. oh my gosh. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, my legs are so tired. So we're not done. We're going to gradually bring our heart rate back to normal. Oh, Normal-ish. And then we're going to stretch. Two forward. Two back. Oh my goodness gracious. Going right into side steps. This is not our cool down. But yes, it is slower than our run. So your heart rate is going to drop a little. Whew, but you are still getting a workout. And you're still going to sweat for a few more minutes. Back to walking in place. Nice fast feet. One, two, three, four. or tight. Just because we're not running doesn't mean we can be sloppy. So 
All the rules still apply. Core tight, side steps. Release the tension in your shoulders. Add some arms. Never locking our knees or our elbows. We don't want to injure ourselves. Make sure you're planting that inside foot down every single time it goes to meet your outside foot. Otherwise you're cheating. Back to walking in place. Forward, back. She must think she sees something out there. We have had a whole bunch of deer out here lately as well. Fox, rabbit, <laughs> stray cat. Oh, we have coyote as well. Not we, the woods do. You gotta stay right here. We have a dog who is like, I am queen, number one, and nothing else is allowed in my property. <laughs> no matter how large or small it is. Arms, push forward, pull back. Core tight, muscle control. One, one, two, two, one, one, two, two. It's the only way that helps me. Otherwise, I'm never in rhythm. So I either have to visualize or count. And sometimes both. So if you've been with me for a while, you guys know I'm not very well uh, coordinated. Neelis, not a good multitasker. Man, my legs are shot after today's run. What about yours? Whew. Opposite hand, opposite knee, core tight. Whew. Back to walking. Whew. Deep breath in and out. Arms above the head. And relax those arms. Forward and back. Staying right here, we are going to slow our pace even more. 